Hi folks, Rich here from Hopsco Energy. Uh, today I want to go over what we recommend for uh, chimney installation here for the Hopsco air stoves. We like to use this stainless steel double wall insulated uh, pipe. They have a locking collar. They lock each one together. Uh, there's a nice cap that keeps the rain from getting inside. That twist locks on also. Uh, real nice product. Uh, certain times of year this is available through Hopsco also if, if you can't find it in your local area. Uh, what we have to do is we need an adapter plate to adapt this from just regular single wall six inch pipe to this double wall pipe. So what we have here is an adapter that can do that for us. Uh, there's a couple of issues with this. One is this flange is bigger than the space between here. Uh, and this is what we remove to clean our chimney out. So that sticks up higher than this surface down here. So if we just were to mount this, we wouldn't be able to get our door open to clean our chimney out. So what I like to do I, I make a couple of uh, spacers to go in there. These are uh, 3 8 inch high, half inch wide, seven and a half inches long. And if I place them on here like this, then when I put the adapter plate down, It'll keep it up high enough here, give me the clearance to be able to get my clean off plate open. So, center this, and then we're going to bolt this physically down to the stove. And I typically like to, to do it in three spots. Uh, one in the front, so I'm going to mark a spot out here in front of that bracket in the center. And then we'll do two in the back here. Uh, you got to be careful to not get too close here so that your pipe can go down and not interfere with the, with the screw heads. But uh, we'll mark three spots out here. And then uh, I use a 764 drill bit. Uh, and we're going to pre-drill holes here in this. You want to drill through both the adapter and the stove. get all three of these done. Then uh, the next step would be to move up to a 964 drill bit and drill these holes out, all three of them again, all the way through with the 964. That way we can use our number 12 inch and a half long self-tapping metal screws to screw this down on there. Uh, I use a 5 16 nut driver on my electric drill. Makes it pretty easy to do. And you'll just go through, run each one of these down into the hole. Uh, the other thing you can notice on this is we've got square corners here with sharp edges and we, and we don't want that. Somebody could rip their stomach open on that. So if you take your collar that we'd use, this gets installed on the cold air return side, but before you install it, it makes a great template 
for rounding these corners off. So you can lay it on there, center it up, mark each corner, and then you can take your die grinder, uh, is what I use, and we'll grind these corners off. I'm going to remove this and uh, put it on my bench, and I'll just cut these corners off with the die grinder. And after I get that set up, we'll come back and uh, we'll finish installing this exhaust system.